Hi, I'm Greg Paul. I'm here in this beautiful, amazing place. It was actually one of the first places that just really hit me about this um, place I'm at right now, Hit Valley Ranch. I'm in what we call the grotto. Um, you can't see it, but there's a little spring water right here. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful, amazing place. Since I came back from the trail, it's been almost four months. I've been really searching for a way to, as I keep saying, spread gratitude. And a couple of months ago, um, between a lot of work um, here and um, getting something started, I kind of quit making videos, quit talking about what I was really doing, and just focused on, let's just say, art, um, including making video or a photo every morning, you know, with something I expressed with art. I was working on something, and just a few days ago, I was going to be um, sharing it with you. And also that day, a little thing happened at the Capitol. And if you're like me, and I'm sure there's a lot of us are, uh, it's preoccupied our mind. And for me, it really knocked me off of um, really staying in gratitude. And this is the second time that I've gotten knocked off. And I know that I'm knocked off is when I'll wake up in the morning and instead of going right into my meditation and practices that I do to stay in gratitude daily, I was going and looking at the news, what is happening, seeing those sort of things. And I realized that yeah, I got to get back into it. I know how to do this. I know what's going on. And so last night I, I slept really well. It's just I have a way of asking myself a question and then going to sleep. And then it's like I know exactly what's happening in my dream. Um, it's close to lucid dreaming where I was focused on how can I continue this journey of spreading gratitude. And all of a sudden something from my past came up. Gratitude did change my life when I was on the trail. And it's changed my life now. Yet, I'm realizing there was something else before that that really made the shift that allowed the gratitude to really sink in and do its work. And what that was is a program that I started and created myself back in 2017. It was after I'd been through Reiki. I had been a tra trainer for Reiki. I'd been doing it for quite a while. I'd done hundreds of sessions, you know, worked with hundreds of people. Yet, Something was just off. And out of all of that, I created a practice and an idea called Yumiki. And Yumiki is simply a term for the energy that happens between you and me. When you meet someone, you get a feeling, whether it's good or bad, that is an energy between you and me. And I call that Yumiki. You, me, and Ki, which in Japanese is Reiki. And so I created some videos back in 2017. Well, I kind of forgot about that because it was in 2019 that I created another series of videos. And that was also, interestingly, I created this series of videos on the Pacific Crest Trail. And it was on that day during those at the end of making those videos that I decided I was going to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. So. I had been doing this Yuma key. Um, I created it into something else. It had made a change in my life. You can hear in how I talk in my videos about how, you know, it's changed my life and what I'm doing. Then I go on the trail and I start gratitude. So I truly believe these two things work together so well. And I also realize it's time for me to start sharing Yuma key and what I call Yumikido, which is the practice of understanding how to create more Yumiki, more positive Yumiki, more connection in our life. Because after these incidents that just happened at the state capitol, I realized something's got to, you know, change. <laughs> can I change the world? No, you know, not by myself. Yet, if I can share what is helping me to see this stuff in a more positive light, to see that we can make change, to see the good you know, that can come out of that, you know, why not share it? I'm not saying I have the answer. It's just I found something that works for me. So what I'm going to be doing is um, over 
the next sort of several videos, um, I'm going to be going back through my course of YumiKey, and I'll be sharing the links to the old course as well. I'm going to put up because I found that I created this course in 2000 or 2019. I also created one in. Um, 2018. So I've done this like four times, four different versions of this. And I'm now ready to redo it again, bring it in gratitude. So this is what I want to share. You know, this, again, this is simply what I do. If it resonates with you, if it's something that, you know, you would like to look into yourself, you know, that would be wonderful. And then ideally, whatever you learn and how you improve your life, you, you know, pay it forward and start sharing it on. That's how we could change the world. I can't do it myself. So I'm just going to simply share what works for me, share this. It's I think it's an absolutely beautiful course. I brought in Reiki, neurolinguistic programming, um, now gratitude, as well as I bring in Namaste. So with that, I'm going to say... You know, <laughs> I usually say namaste at about this time, but um, in my other videos, I say namaste or um, <laughs> my mind is just a blur right now. But that's OK. It's a beautiful blur. Um, what I was thinking is I'm going to put in right about right after this. I'm going to show you the four videos of my introduction going all the way back for you, Mickey, of introducing each of them. Hello and welcome to you, Mickey. My name is Doug Hark. In this video, we are going to be covering the second part of the three parts of Yuma Keto. The first part we covered was Reiki, which is the foundation of Yuma Keto for <laughs> next to Mosquito Lake. So if you see me swatting mosquitoes every so often, that's what it is. It's okay. Um, I'm here because of them. Long story short. What this video is about, it, this series of videos about, is I am welcoming you to Yuma Keto. And so with that, I say, I am grateful. Namaste.